Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. From day number 81, we began discussing the notion of ratio and proportions. We're going to continue with that topic today. We're going to do a few problems dealing with the notion of ratio. The very first problem is already on the blackboard. Here's how the problem goes. We are told that the sum of P and Q, P plus Q, we are told is 75% of 3 times P. P plus Q is 75% of 3 times P. The question is very simple, very straightforward. The question simply is, what's the ratio of P to Q if their sum happens to be 75% of 3 times P? Pause the video, do it yourself first. Once you have done it, once you have your answer, resume the video as always and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time, as I always remind you. Do that instinctively. I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video so that I can have my tea. All right, here we go. We are told that the sum of P and Q, the sum of P and Q, we are told is, is means equal, is means equal, equals 75%. 75% means over 100. 75% of, of means times, 3 times P. Now you could leave it like this. We could leave it like this in a damn silly way, like 75% like that, or we know, of course, the 75% if you were to divide, if you were to divide top and bottom by 25, 75% is 3 quarters. So let's put it there as 3 quarters, so that we don't have to deal with the huge numbers. Let's just reduce it. That's it, we are almost done. We have to get rid of this 4 from this side, it's from the bottom here. The only way we can get rid of this 4 from the bottom here is to multiply this side of the equation by 4 and multiply that side of the equation by 4. When we multiply that side of the equation by 4, this 4 is killed by that 4 and we end up with simply 3 times 3 which is 3 times 3 which is 9 p. 9 p here and here we end up with 4 times p which is 4 p and 4 times q which is 4q and now we simply have to separate our p's and the q's let's do that let's subtract 4p from both sides we have a 4p here let's subtract 4p from here let's subtract 4p from here so this 4p is going to go away and we end up with 4q 4q equals 9 minus 4 is 5 5p now this is where you have to slow down we're not looking for the ratio of q to p they're looking for the ratio of p to q p to q in other words, we have to divide both sides by Q. Divide both sides by Q so that we get the ratio of P to Q. And the Q drops out and divide both sides also by 5. Divide this side by 5 and this side by 5. So the 5 drops out. Here we are left with 4 Q, P, to Q, P to Q. Turns out the ratio of P to Q is simply 4 over 5. 4 over 5. 4 to 5. This is where you have to slow down. They have 4 to 5. I'm surprised they did not give 5 to 4. And of course when I say they, I mean somebody who, that, who did a banged up job who should remain nameless. And we're going to fix this problem. Another answer to I should have been 4 to 5, not 5 to 6. Perhaps that's what I meant to write down when I was writing it. And I made a mistake in my notes here. It should say 5 to, five to 4 because that's a very easy mistake to make. That is one of the most popular mistakes that's going to be here for people who are not paying attention. Then the, they might end up getting a ratio of Q to P. Q to P would be, of course, the reciprocal of that. The correct answer is 4 to 5, and therefore the answer is D. The answer is D. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. We are told that the container. container contains red, blue and green marbles. We are told that one fourth, this is not an easy question, this will qualify as either as a medium question or a hard question, but it most definitely will not qualify as an easy question regardless of which exam you are preparing for. Whether you're preparing for ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, or GRE, this would not qualify as an easy question. We are told that one fourth are red, 
we are told that two thirds are blue. Let's erase all of this thing. And sixty are green. Question is how many total marbles do we have given the fact that we have a bag that contains red marbles, blue marbles and green marbles we are told that the red is one quarter the blues are two third and the green are sixty based on this facts, based on these three facts how many total marbles should the bag contain? must the bag contain? let's find out shall we? let's figure out what, what these two add up to red and blue red and blue, red we know is one quarter and blue we know is two thirds. Let's see what they add up to. We have to add up these two fractions and of course they have different denominators. They have to have the same denominator. They have to have common denominator. The common denominator, the easiest, the quickest, the simplest way to, to have the same, same denominator is to take the first ratio of one quarter and multiply top and bottom by three. In other words multiply it by one in the form of three over three and multiply that one by four over four. There we go. Now we have three times four and three times four. So we, we on the top we end up with 3 times 1 which is 3 and 2 times 4 which is 8 over 12 which means we have 11 over 12 which means the red and the blue the red and the blue together constitute 11 twelfth of the bag one more time the red and the blue constitute 11 twelfth of the bag that implies that implies that green must be one twelfth. Green must be one twelfth of the total. Of the total. So here we go. One twelfth. One twelfth of the total is green, which we are told are sixty. Which we are told are sixty. Which implies that the total must be sixty times twelve. 60 times 12. Voila. Total must be 60 times 12. That's it. That's your answer. That's what they're looking for. How many totals that is, whatever that works out to be. What was I going to say here? I was about to make a remark here. Yeah, multiply both sides by 12. Multiply both sides by 12. So this 12 goes away and your 12 ends up there. Let's find out how many all the others are, shall we? I'm curious. How many, how many red, how many blue? Let's figure out all of them, shall we? Let's do it here. What can we do? It? Let's do it on top. Let's do it on the top. Just out of curiosity, even though they're not asking for it. Red, we know, red we know are one quarter, one quarter of the total. One quarter of the total, but we know now that the total is simply 60 times 12. It is simply 60 times 12. Divide top and bottom by 4, and we, we end up with 15 times 12. Blue, blue we are told is two-third of the total, two-third of the total which is going to be two-third times sixty times twelve divide top and bottom by three and we end up with twenty times twelve green we are told are sixty green we were told are sixty which is same as which is same as five times twelve so here don't forget this two here two times twenty which is forty forty times twelve 5 times 12 and 15 times 12. And if we were to add them all up, if we were to add them all up, 15 times 12, 15 times 12, plus 2 times 20, which is 40 times 12 for the blue, and the green is simply 5 times 12, 5 times 12, and if we will add them all up, we'll end up with 5 plus 5, which is 10, 0. Carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 60 times 12 is exactly what we had claimed the total to be. Which means our answer must be correct. Our answer must be correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.